This task asks us to match linear equations with their characteristics. Those characteristics could be slope or the m value, the y-intercept, or even the x-intercept. To help us determine what those values are, we first have to make sure that the equations are written in the right format. They have to be in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. This is close, but not quite right. So the y is by itself. Um, it's just that our constant or our b, our y-intercept value, is where the, uh, the slope should be. So we're just going to switch this around to be y equals negative 5x plus 5 halves. Okay? And then we're given a couple of options on what could possibly be the right characteristics. We know that the number on the x is our m value or our slope. So we have a slope of 5. I'm looking here, I have a slope of negative 5, so that works. If I'm looking at 5 halves, that is not our slope, that's our y-intercept. So I know that this option is out of the running and it's between these two. So then next, I need to look at, well, what is our y-intercept? Our y-intercept is 5 halves. If I don't see a 5 halves, what would it look like as a, as a number? And 2 into 5 would be 2 and a half, or 2.5. Well, I have a 2.5 here, but this is a negative 5, so that doesn't work. That lets me know that the m of negative 5 and the y-intercept of 0 and 2.5 and is the correct solution. This next problem gives you the equation not in slope-intercept form. 9 out of 10, your first step should be to convert it to slope-intercept. But when you're given multiple choice, and you're given one of your options of being your x and y intercepts, sometimes when it's in this format, it's actually easier to find out what those values are. So let's find out, do we even need to convert it first, or if we plug in these values, is it going to work? And then we know that's our answer. So if the x-intercept is 2 and 0, that means 2 for x, or that it means if I plug in a 0 for the y value, does 2 being the x work out. So 0 here basically cancels this out. And if I plug in a 2, is 2 times 2 10? Nope. That means that's out of the running. And guess what we have to do? We have to convert this to find out what the slope is. So we start by getting the non-y term off of this side. So we got to move the 2x over. That's going to leave me with a negative 5y equals a negative 2x plus 10. Now I have to get, get the y by itself, and the negative 5 is in the way of that. So we need to divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. Oh, I can't forget the negative sign. So they cancel, the negative 5 cancels out on the left, leaving me with a y. And 2 fifths can't reduce, but I have a negative divided by a negative, which means they cancel out. So I get to have a positive 2 fifths x. And 10 divided by negative 5 is a negative 2. So now I know my slope and I know my y-intercept and I need to find out which ones are matching those. Okay, well I don't have a slope of negative 5, I do have a slope of 2 fifths. And I have a y-intercept of negative 2, so that just confirms that the last option there is my correct answer. The last question asks you to match four different equations with their matching characteristics. And sometimes we can just use um, trial and error or, you know, process of elimination to help us figure it out. We notice that two of the equations are in slope-intercept form, which means we know our slope and our y-intercept. So we can see, do any of these match what we're looking at here? Do I have a negative two and a half slope anywhere? Oh, I, I have two different slopes, the m values. I have either a 5 and a negative 2.5. Well, so far, so good on that. And I know my y-intercept is 0 and 5. Does the y-intercept here match? Yep, 0 and 5. I could do the extra process of finding a 2 and a 0, but since I'm finding no other matching y-intercept values, it's it's got to be it. So I can just... Connect those two. Then if I look here, I have a slope of 5, and we'd seen earlier a slope of 5, and then it says that our y-intercept would be 0 and 2.5. And 
zero and two and a half. So there we go. We didn't even have to do any math. We just had to match characteristics. So our next one is asking us to go ahead and focus on the intercepts. When the equation like this, the 2x plus 5y equals 10, is in this format, this is the easiest time to be able to find those intercepts because you're plugging in a zero for one variable to solve for the other and then switching and making the other variable be zero. So if I'm looking at, if I want to find my x-intercept here, that means I would plug in a zero for y, which basically cancels the y out. Then 2 times something equals 10. Well, that's going to be a 5. So my x-intercept would be 5 and 0. Do I have a 5 and 0 anywhere? Oh, right here I do. So I know it's not going to be that one. It's going to be this one. But we can also confirm the y-intercept value. If I plugged in a 0 for x, does 5 times 2 equal 10? It does. So that lets us match that up, which through then the process of elimination, we know that this last equation here matches with our first x-intercept and y-intercept. Um, we don't currently know in this format how it all works out. I would need to move the... It, if you rewrote this in slope-intercept form, you would confirm that your y-intercept was 0 and negative 5. It'd be a little bit of extra work to find the, the x-intercept, but as it stands, it was the only one left, um, and everything else matched up, so there are your solutions.